Hey guys, uh, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're anything like me, you like to revisit like old uh, favorite TV shows you've watched in the past. So lately I've been on uh, Prison Break, rewatching that. And even if I thought the last few seasons kind of lost me a little bit, the first three were pure gold. Um, so today I want to talk about Prison Break and, and more specifically a character that I thought uh, really added to the complexity of the story and that's Mr. or Detective Alex Mahone. So throughout this series, we see him sneak a pill here and there and uh, it really leaves us wondering like what he's taking and, and what are the effects of that substance. So different resource on the internet will tell you different things about what he's taking. Uh, but at one point in the series, he states it. He says, midazolam, 1500 milligrams every 30 days. Midazolam, 1500 milligrams every 30 days. That's all I want from you. We understand each other? It sounds straightforward enough, does it not? But here's the thing, I've been working in the addiction treatment world for about a decade now, and it's a drug that I've never come across. So that's why it made me so curious of like, what is he actually taking? In the series itself, we look at it and it seems like your basic average like nerve pill. He takes it to take an edge off, or sometimes he takes it after doing something pretty horrific. Uh, I think here of the time when he like encouraged Haywire to jump off the tower. There's a way out. So what is midazolam? It's in the family of benzodiazepine, so it's a central nervous system depressant. So it's made to like cause sleepiness or uh, relaxation. Uh, often in the medical world, it's used like as a pre-op uh, drug. So pretty much like you would take it before an operation or a surgery, and what it would do is it would calm you down for the surgery. Uh, but one thing that's very particular about this uh, benzodiazepine when you compare it to others is that it has a memory impairment function. So what it does is it, if you go to a, a traumatic surgery, it could make you forget part or the whole surgery uh, altogether. And that's where it like makes less sense for Alex to be taking that drug. Uh, just because you think of him as an ultra sharp uh, detective that has to like pursue criminals, fire guns, uh, car chases, all the likes. And you know, it wouldn't help you uh, one bit to be on benzodiazepines while doing it. It would just slow down your reflexes and uh, make you less sharp in general. And another thing that's particular about this drug is just that it's way more common to find it in like injectable form or like a syrup than it is to find it in actual pill form. So at one point in the series, his drug dealer tells him that this stuff is not easy to come across, and uh, he's he's not joking about that. It's it's kind of rare to uh, to see it in the wild. Mr. Mahal, where are they? I had a hard time getting my hands on these. These are to go to a doctor telling him you need something to calm your nerves. Really wouldn't be that easy for a low level street dealer to uh, get his hands on uh, such a like rare uh, medication. Plus, like, midazolam is really a short-acting benzodiazepine, meaning, like, it gets out of your system quicker than, than others. And so it would just mean that Alex would need to take a, more and more of the drug or, or at least take it more frequently to avoid getting into withdrawals. It makes me wonder, like, how come they chose to put him on midazolam and not some more common benzodiazepine? Like, they could have decided that he was taking Xanax, clonazepam, or Valium. Which, in a sense, they would all have made more sense because they wouldn't have the same like memory impairments, and you know it, it wouldn't require the same like uh, dose frequency as midazolam. So why did they choose this drug? It's like less common, harder to come by. People don't know what it is, but I think that's kind of the point because like if they had chose like clonazepam or or Xanax, it possibly would have encouraged people to uh, to try it out if they saw it in like their, their parents' uh, medicine cabinet or something. So choosing a drug that's less well-known, it gives them a bit more like creative liberties when it comes to like their interpretation of, of what that drug does to, uh, to Alex. At different times in the show, we see Alex experiencing like withdrawal symptoms and uh, sometimes they're mild, sometimes they're, they're more intense. So in the scene before he meets his dealer, what we see is we see him getting more anxious, uncomfortable, uh, sweaty even, and those would be all uh, benzo withdrawal uh, symptoms. But uh, when we see him in Sona, when he has to go cold turkey off of the drug uh, because he's in prison, uh, we see that his uh, withdrawal symptoms are, are very much like increasing. Uh, we see him get like, you know, panic, we see him uh, paranoid, we see him with tremors, uh, hallucination, even uh, he'd be at risk for seizures, which would be life threatening. And in the show, they kind of make it seem as if a, a few days off of the drug would, you know, 
make him uh, go through the withdrawals. In reality, it can take much longer. See, I've worked in a detox center and I, I've personally helped people who were coming off of, of benzodiazepine and it's a fairly long process. Out of every substance out there, it's, it's one that's the longest to come off of. And if you were to do that without proper medication and, and medical supervision, uh, it would put your life in real danger. Later on in the show, we see Teabag taking advantage of Alex and coercing him to do like heroin. Good news. Manager in charge of retail distribution and customer liaison. Get away from me. All in due time. Now, I'm not your mama, and I ain't one to wipe others' noses, but uh, let's just say you've looked better. On the arm. And heroin being a, a, an opiate, it would have the chance to like lessen his, his symptoms and, and make him more comfortable, but it certainly is not like the advised medical treatment for a benzo withdrawal. So quick disclaimer though, like this is not medical advice. Uh, if you or somebody you know is going through benzo withdrawal or hoping to come off that drug, what I'd say is like, be sure to contact your, your detox uh, center because they would have the proper supervision, the proper care, the proper medication to help somebody come off these types of drugs in a more comfortable fashion and at least like prevent any like life-threatening impact that such a process could have on you. But let's not forget like Prison Break was not meant to be a public service education on benzodiazepine withdrawal. What Prison Break was is entertainment and I think that by adding um, an addiction to our character Alec it was a bold move and it really added to the whole story. What I find fascinating about Alex is that deep down he's, he's not a true villain. You know, he's not doing this just for his personal gains or profit. All the action that he's taking, he's doing so in order to protect his, his wife and child. So he, it, it leaves us to wonder, like, like, what would we be doing if our, to protect our family, to, to keep the people we love safe? But thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If there are any other uh, TV characters or movie characters that you'd like me to dive into their addiction, uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, take care, guys. Here's the thing, Raul. I require a certain medication. And let's just say that it's, it would be good for everybody if, um, if I got this medication. It's a reality. It's, 